Hey, what's going on guys? It's Preston here and welcome to the Mod Review slash Mod Showcase, guys. Thank you all so much for your support on the last Mod Showcase. It was the Epic Grenade Mod. You guys can check it down below in the description if you didn't miss the episode. Don't forget to leave a like if you guys are enjoying the mods. But anyways, let's get on to it. Today we're looking at the um, Hogan's Rideable Battle Mobs. Now, there's eight different mobs split into two different categories. Four of them are passive, the other four are special and aggressive. Not towards you, but towards other mobs. So, what we're gonna be doing is looking first at the Battle Cal. Okay, Battle Cal, he's pretty, he's pretty normal, he's just a cow. Dies very quickly, of course. And then we got the Battle Chicken. And then we've got the um, the Battle Ocelot. And, you know, all the, all the passive mobs are pretty weak, but they, you know, they're kinda cool. I'm gonna teach you guys what they do whenever we get up there. And then the Battle Dog. Um, but those guys aren't really important ones. These guys over here are the unsung heroes, the legends. We've got the Nether Battle Wolf. We've got the Undead Battle Wolf. We've got the Berserker Battle Wolf. And then we've just got the Snow Battle Wolf. Now, each and every single one of these guys are pretty freaking awesome. Not to mention, how cool does the Undead Wolf look and the Nether Wolf? These two are probably my favorite. And actually, honestly, all these are my favorite. These guys are just really, really cool. So I'm going to teach you guys what these guys do exactly. And then we also have Rob's mom. She decided to join us for another mod review. She told me that, you know, she was my biggest fan and that she loves my videos over Rob. So I, you know, I brought her in for another mod. I was like, you know, it can't hurt, you know. You know, just, just a little fangirl mob. It's, it's whatever, it's whatever. So I figured we'd start off with the, um, with the passive mobs before we get over to the really cool special mobs. So first one is the Battle Dog. So let me get this freaking crap out of here. Let me get a zombie spawn egg. So the Battle Dog, I've got it up over here because I couldn't remember the damages because my brain is fried. But the Battle Dog has 10 HP and deals anywhere between 1 to 5 damage. Now, whenever you right click to ride the mob, it's, um, it's, it's not like a horse, for example. With a horse, you can click on the WASD keys and it will move. Now, you can see the HP of the, uh, the mob that you're riding, but it won't move by itself. So you will actually have to give it a bit of a love tap. And then once you do that to steer, you have to look in the direction that you want to go. It's not typical, um, you know, WASD control. You have to actually look at where the mob wants to go. But if you place, let's say, a zombie, or if you're heading towards an enemy player, enemy mob, whatever it might be, if you, uh, you know, have it so that your mob turns correctly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, this is kind of the tricky part. You've got to turn it and allow it to run into the enemy mob or player that you want to hit. So as you guys can see, whenever it runs into the mob, it actually does the damage then. Um, but of course, the battle dog is very, very weak. And we want to go to... No, we don't want to do daytime. Come on, time set night. We are creatures of the night, ladies and gentlemen. So that is the battle dog. Doesn't have a lot of cool features. Except, I guess the cool feature about it is that whenever it does kill an enemy mob, it does regenerate some of its HP back, which is pretty cool. And then the ocelot deals anywhere between 1 to 4 damage. Similar to the wolf, has the exact same HP, 10. It's got more speed and also isn't scared of players and takes no fall damage, which is kind of cool. So, once again... Oh, this is not the ocelot. That's a chicken. Okay, come here. Ocelot. Okay, sorry. That, that, that color of the egg matches the ocelot a lot more than this egg. So I, I didn't know where that was going. I'm sorry. But once again, as you guys can see, the uh, passive mobs don't actually go and aggravate towards players. Or um, they, they kind of jump towards you, but they won't actually damage you. And they also don't go towards uh, hostile mobs, which is kind of interesting. So, I, you know, occasionally they will do damage to other mobs if they run into them. So, like, for example, since it's following me and trying to jump on me like a good old little ocelot, he will run into the mob if I kind of lure him to, and he'll do his damage. But other than that, he doesn't actually really do anything. Or none of the passive mobs really do a whole lot. But the no fall damage is kind of cool, because if you wanted to, you could kind of, like, jump off the edge with it and uh, just take no damage, which would be kind of nice. Although, I think the same thing applies to the chicken. I think it kind of, like, you know, levitates down. We could test those, actually, at the end of this mod. I would like to see what those do exactly. And then, of course, they drop kind of items according to them. Ocelops drop raw fish, battle chickens, you know, uh, drop feathers and stuff like that. Yeah, same old, same old. You guys have seen it before. Uh, but the next one is going to be the Battle Grim. So, I don't know why they call it the Battle Grim. Actually, the Battle Grim is one of the special ones. No, 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 not the Battle Grim. Next one is the Battle Cow, and then we can get to the Battle Grim. Sorry. They call the Undead one Battle Grim, but I honestly personally just like to call it the battle uh, or not the battle wolf, but the undead battle wolf because it's just, I don't know, it's just cooler that way and then every time you spawn a battle chicken he does like to poop out a raw egg so that the battle chicken I believe is yeah he's the weakest mob he's got 4 HP and 1 to 3 damage a hit so he doesn't really do anything but the cool thing about it is that he does glide like I said so you could like you know if you want to you could spawn him up here for example let's see if we can get a little bit of a boost right here let's go into game mode really quick and we can spawn him up here on the ledge and then we can jump on him, and then he'll, like, glide down. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 okay, okay, cool. All right, so we <laughs> No, Battle Cow, okay. Get on the chi- Oh, chicken, come on, we gotta get down there. 
Okay, come on, chicken. Let's go this way. This way. No, chicken. Chicken. Okay, come here. Chicken. All right, here. Look, you see that one? No, no, no chicken. Go this way. There you go. No, no, no yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can actually glide down with it. Not the most useful feature, but hey, you know what? It's, it's fun. It's fun. Um, okay, so let's see. And it heals the same way as a cow, too, guys. If, I think, I believe most of the passive mobs, except for the ocelot, will heal once they, uh, they kill something. So that's kind of a nice feature, but they have such low HP that passive mobs just aren't really going to last. So the battle cow is probably my favorite because whenever you get on him, he heads butt players. I mean, not play, well, he heads butt whatever he runs into. So let's give this guy a little bit of a love tap. Let him uh, start running. Oh, shoot. We're going to have to go out of game mode, aren't we? All right, okay, so we give him a bit of a love tap, and then let's get on him. All right, now we can start guiding him. No, no, cow behind you, cow, turn around. He's so slow, but look at him. Wait, no, 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 cow, you're gonna turn, man. Cow, you're gonna, okay, that's it. I gotta, I gotta, okay, here we go. Here we go, boom, boom. He kind of, <laughs> he just throws them in the air. Kind of similar to an iron goal, and it's really, really cool. Um, all right, so that is it for the passive mobs. Now we're gonna get on to the, uh, the more special mobs, and this is where it gets really, really fun. So we're going to start off with the first one with the undead one. The undead one's really cool. Now the undead one has 20 HP it deals anywhere between 5 to 7 damage and it, uh, it's a little bit faster than the normal wolf and normal dog but other than that um, nothing too different except for the actual look of the dog which by the way I think it looks really cool. So now the acro of the special mobs is a little bit different. Whenever you like hit them or hit the zombie like you know occasionally they'll go to hit the hostile mob they will actually go for it. Um, but it's it's kind of weird. Their aggro towards hostile mobs isn't, you know, very common. I, I, I know it's a little bit buggy, but as you can see, they actually run into it intentionally, unlike the uh, the passive ones, which just do it occasionally. But it's really fun to ride because it is really fast and stuff like that. But okay, anyways, other than that, it's pretty simple. Nothing too crazy about it. And the next one is the snow wolf. Now the snow wolf is my favorite. The, and I know it's Rob's mom's favorite as well. So this one's a hassle to deal with. This is the only one that will actually hit you if you hit him. So if you spank him a little bit, he will shoot deadly snowballs at you. They deal, they deal like seven damage each. It's actually crazy. And you can let the, I'll let Rob's mom go. Come on, Rob, Rob's mommy, come out. Here you go, come, come. Come Rob's mommy, come! No, this way. Oh my God! Okay, and like the only way to dodge these guys is to basically zigzag until you can get close enough to the wolf. In case you guys are playing against this mod against like some uh, some of your friends, but if you zigzag just like this, you can most of the time. Do I'm not doing a great job, but you can. Oh no! She came out! Yes! Kill Rob's mommy! Come on! You can do it, doggy! Get her! Yeah! No! 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 She's right here! She's right here! You can do it! Come on! Come on! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, okay, but then if you get on top of it, he actually will stop shooting and he will just, you know, eat people like normal. Just so um, the range attacks will stop once you start riding it. But this dog is a tank. As you guys can see, I've got sharpness 5 on my sword and it still takes a ridiculous amount of hits to kill. And then, okay, so I want to save the coolest for last. But the next one is the nether dog. Now this guy is one scary looking dude. The nether dog, uh, basically he sets people on fire and he sends them into the air, kind of like the battle cow or an iron golem. It's really fun to use. So if we spawn a zombie here and then we r start riding this guy, look at him. Boom! Oh! <laughs> he deals so much damage. He deals anywhere between 9 to 11 damage. He is the second highest damage dealing mob in this mod. Where did he Where'd he go? Did he just, wait, did you just, wa did you just go in the water? Oh my goodness gracious, he was not your type yet, Netherwolf. <laughs> well, anyways, as you guys can see, they all do the same thing whenever you ride them anyways. Now, this one is the only one that has like some real hidden talent and awesome abilities. Now, this is the Berserker Wolf, dealing between anywhere between 11 to 15 damage a hit. The Berserker Wolf is really fast if it's burning and gains two speed and a damage boost which is awesome, not to mention, but the model itself is huge and looks really, really cool, and he makes these super scary sounds, and he's got 60 HP! Like, that's, that's a lot of HP, man, that's a lot of HP, but once again, you know, he won't attack you or anything like that, he's a good guy. Now, let's see him kill the zombie real quick, if he will aggro to it. Oh, let's see, look at that, he one-bangs the zombie, one-bangs him. Now, here's where things are gonna get a little bit crazy, and by a little bit crazy, I mean they're gonna get really freaking crazy, okay? So let's spawn a couple of zombies here, just to show you guys the craziness of this zombie. Alright, so once we set him on fire, he's gonna go absolute crazy berserker mode. And just go, look at him, look at him, he's just going! Go, let's go, berserker wolf, go! He just got so over the place! And I wanna, oh, I gotta ride him, I gotta ride him, okay? Go, berserker wolf, go! Let's go, let's go! Oh, but I think once you get on top of him, he actually doesn't go berserker mode anymore. 
Oh, so you can't ride him during Berserker mode, but as you guys can see, he just goes absolute ham jabroni and does whatever the flip he wants. It's really, really cool. You could use this if you're playing against, like, maybe some enemy players if you wanted to have, like, some kind of cool mod battle or whatever it might be. Or maybe there's just, like, a bunch of hostile mobs in a small area you want to clear out. Set this dude on fire and he will go absolutely ham and just make your day that much better. Just look at him! Just look at him go! He's so cool! But yeah, but once you get on him, unfortunately, he does uh, he does get offset. It's actually kind of interesting that he doesn't uh, continue to be set on fire once you ride him. So I guess the last thing to test here is riding on the ocelot and seeing the fall damage. And there's the nether wolf. That's the one that totally just jumped off and freaking abandoned us during mid video. What a scumbag! All right, so what? Oh, there's nothing down here to jump. You know what? It's okay. Here, we're gonna do this. We'll just go to these awesome rooftops and we'll spawn in an ocelot over here. Okay, come here, ocelot. Alright, so Ocelot has- No, no, Ocelot, don't- don't run off! Stay here, stay here with me! Come on, come on! Okay, Ocelot, you gotta- you gotta work with it here. Ocelot, don't- don't! Stop freaking moving everywhere! But as you can see, they take no fall damage, so if you wanted to, you could jump off like, I don't know, 250 blocks high, and just Geronimo straight down, take no falling damage. And then, I wanna see if they actually offset creepers. Hmm. I don't know if they work, you know, similar to the, uh, the, you know, the vanilla- Ocelot, but I guess we could test that out real fast. You know, it's, it's always fun to test some stuff out. Okay, yeah, so they do, they still really do not like creepers, it looks like. Hold on, let me, let me try that again. Yeah, okay, so they do aggro to creepers, but that's the only mob they will aggro to. But, um, alright guys, that is gonna be the end of this mod review slash mod showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's anything that uh, you guys would like to see me personally do with this mod. I would like to start using some of these mods for maybe some mod battles, battle domes, anything that'd be kind of like fun or interesting, kind of to, you know, similar to Lucky Block, and, uh, you know, just kind of be creative. So let me know if there's anything that you guys would personally think uh, that would be really, really awesome to do with this mod. But nonetheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this mod. If you guys did, leave a like down below, and make sure to check back for some more future mod showcases and whatnot, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye, guys.